I have made it out of Florida. I'm in Alabama now, on my way to Arizona, and I'm filling up. This is the first fill up I've been on. Uh, this is the first fill up that I've had since I left Orlando. The bread truck can get me all the way out of Florida on one tank of gas, over 500 miles. It's pretty, pretty awesome. Can't wait to get to Arizona. As soon as I got into the state of Arizona and crossed the state line, I got pulled over by the DOT and Highway Patrol. Watch as I interact with them. It's a, um, it's an RV. It's an RV? Okay. Yeah, is it yeah. personal or are yeah. you doing business? Do you do no, business no. with it? No, you don't do business with it? This is your personal vehicle. It's my registration. And here's my insurance. Okay. Follow your first name, right? Yes. I'll get some, I'll get some mug, mug Do you have any on there um, weapons right with you right now? Nothing? Okay. No, I just wanted to no. let you, you know. But you're not like hauling to... commercially, right? You're not getting no. paid to haul anything? No, I have a, I have a private license, or a private So this is your personal policy? load, so this yeah. is your truck? Yeah, it's just like an apartment back okay. there. It's like the RV. All right, so just hang tight here and I'll be right back. What's going on, boss? Trooper Sheriff yeah. Arizona Highway Patrol. How you doing? Uh, Splash cards, not, not every state requires them. Arizona yeah, does because we I'm do from this. Chicago. This thing called Cinder everywhere. Yeah, my They're buddy's like, from Mesa and he said that they crack windshields a lot. Exactly. And throw, so it's like crushed up shale or something like that. Yep. And millings and all sorts of stuff. It helps yeah. with traction as well as it doesn't melt like uh, and crack as easily. It's not much when it's 140 so, degrees. But how do you regulate so many people coming in and out? I mean, so that's the thing we don't always. Okay. Um, we so stop what we can. We stop and talk to people. It's normally a repair order. A lot of uh, like O'Reilly's and I'd be glad to put stuff. them on. They, they buy. You yeah. can buy magnetic ones that just clip on. Well, it's yeah. They, that way you don't have to have them. Though. Yeah. So I don't know if it'll have any place to stick. But uh, I'll be glad to put. And them it's on. only it's you know trucks that are lifted, raised, lowered, any any alteration to their height. Wheels out past their wheel well, and then vehicles that can be used as commercial vehicles. Which this unfortunately for you couldn't be. Yeah. So you can burn into a camper? Yes, sir. Yeah. 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 Kinda of nifty back there. Yeah. It's, like, it's I was really looking cool. back there I, I like a, reminds me of an oversized RV uh van. Yeah. It's like a, kinda of like a cabin. I built it with like recycled stuff. And Mind if I step up and just take a look real quick? I, I don't know, I'd rather not. Okay, fair <laughs> enough. I'm um, just curious. Yeah. I, uh, I just normally don't let people on. No worries. Uh, so I uh, have a YouTube channel. You can definitely huh. check that out. I have, um, it's just my name is my YouTube channel. Gotcha. But uh, I, I document, you know, all my travels, how I built my truck, hmm. and all that kind of stuff. Were you, are you coming from Florida yeah. all the way across? Yeah. That is a long drive. Yeah, I'm almost there, too. You headed to California? I'm going to, uh, no, I'm going to Sedona. Okay. Yeah, you're not, you're not too far away. Um, quick question that you didn't ask. You have any drugs in here, including uh, or alcohol, including marijuana or THC oil? No, sir. You ever smoke marijuana in here? You should, oh, you, in here? You ever have marijuana it, in here? It has been. Yeah. I can smell it still. Is why I ask. It hasn't. I haven't but, smoked it here in months. It it lingers for yeah. a long time. I pulled a guy over from Texas who had up and down the wall claimed he hadn't smoked in his vehicle in three months, yeah. and you can still smell it. It lingers on everything, and it is still a felony. I, I do not have anything. You have nothing I, I, in I here. quit smoking actually. Okay. Um, I quit smoking because I've been meditating and stuff, and I, okay. I really am working on getting my health all um, good. And I felt like that was like a hindrance actually. It can um, be. You know, so doesn't keep um, you in the right state of mind. Yeah. So I mean, I haven't smoked in a long time. Okay. Well, um, I, I'm not planning on searching your vehicle. Technically, we're supposed to smell it, and I keep getting whiffs of it every once in a while in the wind. When we get like a big semi going by and it blows past me, I'm getting whiffs of it. All right, 
that's why I ask. I like to give the chance for people to be upfront with me and honest. No, I'm, I'm, I'll be honest about everything, but I, I do not have anything on me. I haven't smoked in days and days. So, um, yeah. Fair enough. Um, not my stop. I'm not going to worry too much about it. All right? Just, just make sure in Arizona you don't have it, all right? Yeah. No, I don't. So, you're good. Okay. Just going to give you a verbal no. warning on that. I also wanted to make sure that if you were driving commercially or not. If you were, no. then you wouldn't need a permit, but yeah. you're good. Um, do you have any questions? Um, can I give you guys my YouTube channel? I, I, I have a YouTube channel of my travels and, uh... Oh, do you? And my, the way I build my truck and all that kind of stuff. Um... It's just a business yeah, card. Yeah, yeah, It's that's, just that's right fine. there on okay. the thing. Um... I like as many subscribers as possible. Maybe you can give some to the fellas, too. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Okay, well, just drive safe and so, watch yourself. Get do I need to put them on? Is or? Yeah, I would if I were you. So um, I, they need to be eight inches, eighteen inches above the ground. Okay. Um, but that's the main the main reason why I pulled you over. Yeah. Because there's a mud flaps. Okay. And the second reason was to make sure that you weren't driving commercially. If you were, then you would have to buy a permit, but you're not, so you're good to go. Okay. Okay. Drive All right. Safe. Thank you so much. So I got away scot-free. I got a verbal warning about no mud flaps on the bread truck. I kind of want mud flaps, so uh, I put some on my Amazon wish list. It'll be in the link in the description below if you want to help the bread trucker out with some mud flaps for the bread truck. But uh, I made it to Arizona, baby. <laughs> all in all, the officers were really nice, and I didn't really have any issue with it. Um, I have nothing to hide, you know. I'm not a criminal. I... Uh, have everything in order, license, registration, insurance. I did everything right, I think. And uh, I also declined to let them have a look inside my vehicle. Um, and there's no reason for them to come inside and take a look. Um, but, you know, I ain't too worried about it. It went really well. And uh, I made it all the way to Sedona, Arizona from Orlando, Florida in 42 hours that's including sleep i mean it's like 2500 miles and uh yeah it's it's a long drive i got about six hours of sleep in those 42 hours um but i made it i was bread trucking out here with a really really uh fast pace <laughs> 